Hey there everyone, what's happening with you? I hope everything's going well, I hope you're doing great. I'm Daryl Ballard, and in today's video, we're going to talk about vidIQ, a tool for getting more views on your videos on YouTube. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I want you to know, if you are new to my channel, you probably don't realize that I put up lots of content about how you can escape the rat race with an online business. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe to my channel. You'll find a button right down there. And I also have a link that tells you what I'm doing right now and a link, the second link for a four day course that you can take to help you step by step start that online business so that you can escape the rat race. All right, so let's talk about vidIQ. First, what is vidIQ? Well, it's actually as simple as, and it's, it's an extension for a couple of browsers. You can use it on either Firefox or you can use it on Chrome. They're planning on expanding, but that's the two that you can use it on at this point. Uh, how much does it cost? There's a free version that gets you a lot of tools. I used that for quite a while, and it certainly helps uh, expanding your views on YouTube. Um, I, at this point, use what they call the pro version, which I think you can get for about $10 a month, or if you're willing to pay it on a yearly basis, it works out to about $750. And there's what they call the boost version, which gets you all of the tools and that is $49 a month or about 39 if you're willing to pay it yearly. But you can do so much just with the, the free one or paying $10 a month like I do for the pro version. Okay, and does it really help with your views? I can tell you it definitely makes things easier. Now there's nothing that you can just pass over your videos and have them uh, all of a sudden get a lot of views, get a lot of likes, all of that. There isn't anything like that. And that's too bad, although it's probably good because if there was, everyone would be doing it and it wouldn't do us any good. But it's still a great tool. You're gonna have to use it some, you're gonna have to do research with it and improve your videos in that way. But it definitely makes things quicker and easier to do that research. All right, so let's take a look. I'm gonna go on my computer and take a look at what it does. Okay, so I've gone to YouTube here and the first thing let's talk about is uh, what it can do for your searches. Let's just type a search in here. I'm just gonna put in, if I spell it right, weight loss, just for something to put in there, okay? And we'll see what we get. All right, so let's take a look at the um, what we have over here, just on that search term, okay? So you see what comes up here? Weight loss is probably not at least defined that poorly, uh, that generically. In other words, not specific enough, not a good term to, to use because as you see here, you get a lot of searches on it, but the competition is very high. So unless you have a huge channel, it's probably not something that you want to, um, that you want to search or that you want to make a, a video on if you want it to show up high in the search engines, if you want to get a lot of views, okay? So that's the, the biggest thing you can do with the search terms. Now let's, let's look at that a little bit. Let's see if we can define it, and we may not be able to, but uh, if we just click one space after that, you'll see um, suggestions, and these of course are things that are searched, um, let's try, let's try weight loss drink. See if that improves things any. 
Actually, it look like, looks like it got worse. Still very high in the competition, and there are actually less searches, so our total is now only 37. So, not a good thing to do. Okay, but you can do that. You can add further words to it if you can come up with things that make sense, um, things that, uh, you know, you could make a video about, you could relate to, that you can give some information on that would be helpful for, for people. It doesn't do any good to just make up stuff. Uh, you know, it's it's got to be useful information or people are going to get the message fairly quickly that uh, this isn't something we want to follow anyway. Okay, so that's a way that you can use it as a tool to help you and what you're actually doing is trying to come up with a good title for your um, for your video okay so that's one thing you can use it for and title is very important in the in the YouTube search engine that's one of the big things that helps to find where your video ends up in the search in their algorithm that's that's one of the biggest things up, let's take a look at the first video. Now you see this one is an ad, but the second box there is an actual video. Let's go back into it again, and hopefully it'll leave my did I key. Okay, good, it did. And we don't get the ads this time. All right, perfect. So, like TubeBuddy took back over. Okay, hopefully that'll stay there like that now. All right, so you see we have these, um, these things to choose from over here. Let's look at the stats. And if you mouse over things, you'll see that it tells you a lot of times what it is. Okay, so we're looking at the stats on this video. It's got a 74.2 vid IQ score. Uh, that's a that's a good score. You want that to be in the green. They're well into the green. That's a good score. 99 would be 99th percentile. Hard to get there. Um, they're getting 267 views for hour per hour. They're getting a lot of duration on their 433 is a pretty good duration on their on their video. We look down here and they're not doing terribly well with. In fact, they're it says bad for um, uh, engagement with social media. <clears throat> um, looks like they've got quite a few likes, but maybe it's not a whole lot for the number of, of views that they've had in their video. Let me pause this so it's not distracting. Okay, their SEO score, their search engine optimization score is good. 85.3, well into the green. Uh, what this says is the in the next up or up next videos, uh, they're not getting put in the up next videos very well. That's a zero. Okay, so these are things that you can look at to uh, improve your videos. Uh, there's actually a checklist down here even. A video optimi optimization checklist. They've got a good title, their tags are good, description's good, they put cards and end screens on, um, they've shared it on Facebook and Twitter. It's a public video. Uh, they didn't do a pinned comment and there's no hearted comment in there. So if somebody was watching the, the uh, comments and could do that, you know, it would, it would basically be everything. And then there's some more information down here on the, the entire channel itself. All right, let's look at the next one, historical information. Now, you can get in YouTube Analytics, you can get some good information, but uh, this has even additional information to that. Um, so just, just a quick overview of that. You can see whether it's trending in both in views and in views per hour. Uh, looks like it took a while to get started and then once it took off, it stayed pretty, pretty steady there. So, okay, next is Twitter. So these are the tweets. You can see there that it has 13 tweets and these are the tweets. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually click into these tweets 
and you can um, respond to them. You can like them, you can, you know, uh, uh, respond and interact with them. And of course, this is going to increase the engagement. Now, I don't know if you'd want to do that at this point because the last one was six months ago, but uh, early on, you could do that sort of thing, okay? And then finally, the last one here is trending. Now, this is uh, the top 10 videos that are related to this one, similar subject material. And uh, these are ones that are trending. In other words, trending upwards, getting a lot of views, increasing in views and views per hour. And why is this important? Well, first off, you could uh, certainly, it could be important to know what the competition is doing. But secondly, YouTube and all the search engines for that matter, all of social media for that matter, is uh, kind of a trend-based business. Getting in front of the trends is what you want to be doing. So one of the ways you can use this specifically with video is uh, if you see a trending video here, let's see, best full body workout to lose fat, 20 minutes a day, 28 day challenge. If you could make a good video that's related to that in some way, and related to that could even be sort of the opposite, this versus that or whatever, and use some of the same uh, keywords, you might be able to show up, I mentioned the up next, uh, uh, list that YouTube puts up, you could very easily be in the up next list if you do that sort of thing. You could use the same keywords that they're using or similar keywords, a lot of them. Uh, you can actually see um, <clears throat> a trending video. You can get a trending video and uh, kind of tag on to that video. Capture some of their success, okay? So that's the, the main tabs that we have to look at. So you can see some of the things that can actually help you improve your video there. Now, I wanna do one more thing. I'm gonna upload a video. It's a video I already have up, so I'll go back and delete it here in a little bit. But while a video is uploading, there are several things that you can do. Okay, so I'm going to upload this or start uploading it. I may even stop it before we're done. Okay, now a lot of these things, this is automatic from YouTube, but there are a few things that you can use that are vidIQ specific things. Okay, now when we go down here into the more options. This is where we put tags on our videos. And you see the vidIQ keyword inspector down here. Okay, so <clears throat> let's say this video was on uh, starting an online business, or maybe I should have stuck with my weight loss, but Now you see I'm getting <clears throat> stuff from TubeBuddy here as well. Now we, uh, if, if we click on this, that will put it in there, or you could open that up and, and tie that in there, but it'll put it in this keyword inspector here. Okay, and then it gives me lots of different choices here. Okay, and I can... I can uh, choose one of those and see what it would be as far as um, <clears throat> how it related here. That's a pretty good, it's got a you know, 51 out of 100, it's better than average. Um, and you can also see sometimes if you have, if it has really good keywords to suggest, it might even have a, a, a number on it. It might have this number, meaning it's the the number one video in that, or the number one keyword in that, or, or keyword phrase. When I say keyword, it may mean a, uh, 
an entire phrase. So you may find some that are numbered. You're not going to find them at the end of the list. You're going to find them at the start. But uh, this was not a great example for, for that sort of thing. Um, and I don't know how to, to find that. If you find one, you know, we'd have to look around quite a bit to do that. We're not going to spend that time in this video. But the point is, you can do a lot of keyword research. Now, you wouldn't want to necessarily take every one in here. In fact, if you took every one, you'd have too many. It wouldn't make you take some of them out anyway. But you'd want to take the ones that related specifically to your, vi to, to your video. Uh, it doesn't do any good to put a whole bunch of, you know, only sort of related um, keywords and keyword phrases in there. It really only is helpful to put ones that specifically relate to your video. Um, now you can use 500 characters of keywords and that's one of the things that it rated down there was were the keywords long enough, meaning did you use most of those? Um, you know, it is important. Keywords aren't apparently as important as they used to be in their algorithm, but they still are uh, important and getting good keywords is an important thing to do. It also is great research for your next video. You might find a related video in there in, in those sorts of keywords. Yeah, I want to make something, especially if you find some high rated uh, uh, keywords in there. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good coverage. I'm sure that's not everything in vidIQ, but it's certainly a lot of what you can do with vidIQ. And just from that, I think it's well worth it for the $10 a month that I pay, even for the upgraded version. But a lot of what I showed you here, and it's hard for me to keep track of what is and what is not part of the, uh, of the uh, pro version as opposed to the free standard version. But um, <clears throat> a lot of it is available for free. So definitely consider uh, using it. I'll put a link below that you can use to, to go to that. Um, that you can use to go to that. But again, remember, it's free. Um, no obligation with that. Try it and see how it works for you. Okay? Hope that's been helpful. Definitely hit the like button if it has been. Give me some comments, some likes. Consider subscribing if you're into that escaping the rat race. And don't forget the free course that you can get started on to help you get your online business started. Okay? I'm Daryl Ballard, and we will see you in the next video.